The following morning, we were told to report to our test track for the next challenge. Oddly, though, the man in the white coat was nowhere to be seen. What was the actual colour of your car? Red. Actually was No, no, no. Amber gold. Oh, right. Well, Amber okay. gold. Can you remember the exact colour of yours? Sunrise yellow. Lads? This man's destroying your Volvo. Are you going to sort him out? The psychopath with the forklift then did the same to my golf and Hammond's Hyundai. Uh, I'm on the body kit. This does feel like a terrible. Well, hopefully this this had better be good. <laughs> As you are 17, it is certain that at some point in the near future you will roll your car. So. You must now mend it <laughs> in such a way that your parents won't be able to spot the damage. This is to find <laughs> out. <laughs> this is to find out how easy they are to repair. So right, well we better get these. Well, let's get them indoors. Yeah. And break out the hammers. Richard, however, decided he didn't need a hammer. And it's straight away, I've improved it. Oh, awesome! Ah. You don't need hammers and shouting. See this bit here? Small scuff. Watch that disappear thanks to the magic of polish. With the roof done, I now had to sort the bonnet. Here's a tip. Should you ever roll your, your coupe, stylish, and need to straighten a dent out like that, here's what you do. That's not... Yeah. Jeremy, meanwhile, was cheating. One thing I've learned is that all firemen have, at some point, crashed their cars when they were teenagers. So I borrowed a fireman. Did you ever crash a car? Certainly did. When you were 17? RS Turbo, green and common, straight through the fence. That's the ticket, so you understand the plight of the 17-year-old who stuffed his mum's car. Feeling your pain. So do you think you could use some fireman equipment to make that like new? That's not what they're for. There were no fires in Surrey. It's too middle class. It's quite the same colour as the car. After just two hours of hard work... It's very important to turn the cloth frequently. We had made no difference whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, that's plastic. Yeah, I had to do plastic as well, because the fireman's lift has rather changed the shape of the windscreen hole. Then another challenge arrived. Let's have a look. OK. You will now race against the clock to see which car is the fastest. You have to go down the main straight, round the hammerhead, do a handbrake turn, and come back the other way. Well, it doesn't sound very hard. Uh, hang on, though, it says the track has been littered with obstacles and you'll have five seconds added to your time for every object you don't hit. Don't hit? Well, that's what it says. It was right. The track was littered with all the flotsam that teenagers like to crash into. And then, at the finish line, there was a gap between two parked cars that everyone except a 17-year-old can see isn't wide enough. We also discovered that our handbrake turns would be judged by three teenage girls. That actually makes sense, because as men, we know that nothing turns a 17-year-old girl on more than a well-executed handbrake turn. Oh, got you a fact. It's like, you know, a peacock has its plumage. Those yeah. birds in the jungle, they attract a mate with dancing about. We have the handbrake. That's it's our it's equivalent. For, that's I what have it's no for. tail feathers. But I can do this. Interestingly, Girls will always say, no, we're not interested. But well, they, they, they never true. show it. They never have ever it's, shown it. They're suppressing it very yeah, well, they, right. very effectively. Armed with this new information about women, James decided to get some practice. <laughs> While we talked to the girls. I've got a motorbike. <laughs> Just nice. Yeah. yeah. You see him, he's rubbish. I'm much better. I did one yesterday at Glastonbury, and it was brilliant. And... That's him being that's, rubbish. That's it him. Really it well it does work, really. I did a huge one. It does work, really. really. He just can't do it. He can't do it. And he's got no penis, because it came off once. 
With James cleared off the track, I lined up for the off. Oh, that was a blinding start! What do you reckon his approach is going to be? Fast. Mm, violence. Oh, got to hit this. Missed! Oh, that's the bus shelter. The bus shelter's good. This is like any 17-year-old coming home from work. He's got to the oh, flower stall. Oh, my God, that's substantial. Yeah! That was strangely satisfying. Roadworks. Mm, that's good. Wheelie bin. Fantastic. Sadly, the handbrake turn was a disaster. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about the washer bottle. That is a consequence of the accident. Oh, no, it's still there! Holy cow! Through we go! Yes! James was next. Yes, yes, do it. Oh, my God. No. Oh. He's missed the call. Oh, neat! Down the back straight, it was hard to see why he'd bothered with a helmet. <laughs> oh, well, Mum, I've just been to the post office. They've got a new stamp out. But then, as he approached the girls, all became clear. They're hot for James May right now. <laughs> I might as well have cut the penis off for all the good that did. Oh, yes, good idea. Quick, 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 quick. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to do it too. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's not gone quite as well. So now it was all down to me. So they both missed the car, the first obstacle. I oh, won't. Well. Oh, yeah. 35 seconds before we move more than a yard. Right, so it's around the hammerhead in a normal manner. Oh, what a pillock. You all right? Dead. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh Back to the studio. That's my line. <laughs>